I go. Please, please. Hey, don't be bumping the fence, please.
You don't pee right It's a special, it's a special float, just, or it's a special tool just for this. It's called a magnesium, or a magnesium bull float is what it's called. Oh, it's a, oh, is it To float the concrete. Is it metal? It's a very light metal, so you can lightly skim it across there. Oh, I didn't want this. Hey, actually, you know what you can do? Can you go find that brush that we bought in the truck? It's yeah. in the front seat. The truck's right there, honey. In the, in the back or the front? In the front where I, my seat. If you go get that, that would be a huge help. In the car? In that white truck, honey. In the white truck. You'll see it. Just go look in the front seat. I think it's perfect. I don't know. That brush will help. Bag on leaves. Now we need that big pole in the garage. Where is that? This is going to, we're going to brush it to make all those water lines go, the trail lines go away. That's because the sun's over there. It was really shady. No, no, no. Uh, uh uh. You do not touch this until we. If we say you can, okay? Trying to find this bull float or this magnesium float and the parts for it was such a pain in the butt. A part of the problem with this float was that. We only had a few days to find one, less than a week to find one in the parts. So if you look early, you probably have better luck. But the problem was, I was trying to get one on Amazon to get it here in time. And so they have, you have to buy everything separate. You buy. If you buy a, if you buy a <clears throat> handle at Lowe's, it's going to be like $300. 
yeah they they don't sell everything together so you buy the the actual float head itself separate and then you buy the adapters and then that little the gray part just above the float is a that's an adapter so it's got a clevis adapter that you have to buy and then you buy the pole separately and trying to match them all up there's marshalltown uh, is one of the brands and then there's I completely blanked out um, there's a RTQ or something like that and anyway there's just there's uh that bond tool is what that handle is there's just several different brands that make these parts and stuff and tools and so it was like I could get the bull float here on time in the Marshalltown brand and then but the handle wasn't going to be here so I had to get the bond tool handle and then <laughs> it was just it was nerve-wracking and then I didn't get a long enough handle so wait don't overwork don't it don't overwork your concrete wait till it's right <laughs> I can't stop touching concrete when I do concrete work. Yeah, and then you end up messing it up. It'll be fine. We'll brush it out in a minute. Hmm. <laughs> Once it's a little bit harder, it won't push so much water around. Yep. We got this fancy little. Looks like a horsehair brush. Not horsehair. Looks like a horse brush. <laughs> Hopefully that'll help smooth it out some more. I'm trying to get this as smooth as possible because whenever uh, the puppies yeah. go to the bathroom on this, it's we're going to be washing it down. It's at a slope so we can wash it down. And the smoother the concrete is, the easier it's going to be to wash off. So that's the goal here. Otherwise, I wouldn't really care how perfect it looked. But that's the reason why we're trying to get so smooth. Just make it easier to wash. Eventually we'd like to put in a septic system to where it washed off into. But that's down the road. I think it looks pretty good so far. Let's come around here. If you've ever poured a slab before, comment down below and tell us how you did, how it turned out. If you have a video, feel free to post it. We'd love to watch it. Tell us what we did wrong. Yeah, tell us what we did wrong because this is going to be our whelping kennel and then we're going to be building a large uh, dog kennel somewhere down in through this little section right here. And this is going to be our whole dog area, but, um, yeah, just let us know. Give us some tips on the next one. I think we're learning quite a bit here. I don't think we did too terrible, but we're learning here, and then we'll know what to do on the next one, because next one's going to be about twice as long. So, anyway... This is going to be floated over and then we're going to kind of get the brush. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Trying to get this edge rounded off here. Smoothed out. Here's the before. This is the after.
Ray. Please stop, bud. Hey, Hux. Hux. Uh-huh. All right, we're trying to get the final finish laid on. Laid on, smoothed out. <laughs> Got the edge done, it's starting to dry pretty quick now. Look, it turned out pretty good. That's probably from the bull float pushing water in. Okay guys, so we finished the slab. So far it's pretty good. We got that brush out and brushed it down and uh, got it pretty smooth. It's been three hours since the mixer truck got here to where we're at now. But it's just now maybe hitting 80 degrees. So we had a perfect day for August. Yeah, it's been couldn't, have been a, couldn't have been a better day for people that don't know what they're doing. Because if it would have been 100 degrees, we would have been... Uh, we would have been in a hurry and probably messing some stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> but it turned out pretty good. Um, why don't we take these forms off tomorrow? So uh, we'll video taking the forms off and see what it turned out. It'll work either way. We're not professional concrete finishers, so getting a perfectly smooth finish would have been pretty much impossible for us. And We're going to need some good pressure anyway when we spray it. So probably just keep a power washer out here for yeah. serious cleanings yeah once every week or two hit it with a power washer yeah but i think it looks pretty good i'll turn the camera around and show you guys here we go so this is finished product and my phone died but uh he's got a better camera so anyway you can see those brush strokes in there looks pretty good though Pretty smooth. I think it looks pretty good for a couple of amateurs. <laughs> pretty nice. We'll get these forms knocked off here and um, we're going to be picking up the metal sometime this week. Maybe next week and getting it welded up. 
we found a shed that we want to pick up. We're going to call them here in a minute and see if we can work out a deal and have them get that brought over here too. And that'll be our uh, climate controlled whelping kennel and uh, slash storage. So that, that would be really nice if we can go get that. This needs a little bit of siding work and, and then uh, finished how we want it on the inside. So anyway, that's it for today. We'll pop on here when we pull the form off. and Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell for the next video.